God of Israel, God of Jesus Christ, our God forever and ever, help us now by the Sacred Spirit to approach you aright with deepest reverence, but not with servile fear, with holiest boldness, but not with presumption. Teach us as children to speak to the Father and yet as creatures to bow before our Maker. Our Father, we would first ask you whether you have aught against us as your children. Have we been asking somewhat of you amiss, and have you given us that which we have sought? We are not conscious of it, but it may be so. And now we are brought as an answer to our presumptuous prayers into a more difficult position than the one we occupied before. Now it may be that some creature comfort is near to us than our God. We had better have been without it, and have dwelt in our God, and have found our joy in Him. But now, Lord, in these perilous circumstances, give us grace that we may not turn away from You. If our position now be not such as you would have allotted to us, had we been wiser, yet nevertheless grant that we may be taught to behave ourselves aright, even now, lest the mercies you have given should become a cause of stumbling, and the obtaining of our heart's desire should become a temptation to us. Rather do we feel inclined to bless you for the many occasions in which you have not answered our prayer. For you have said that we did ask amiss, and therefore we could not have. And we desire to register this prayer with you, that whensoever we do ask amiss, you would, in great wisdom and love, be pleased to refuse us. O Lord, if we at any time press our suit without a sufficiency of resignation, do not regard us. We pray thee, and though we cry unto thee day and night concerning anything, Yet if you see that in this we err, regard not the voice of our cry. It is our heart's desire now, in our coolest moments, that this prayer of ours might stand on record as long as we live, not as I will, but as thou wilt. But, O Lord, in looking back, we are obliged to remember with the greatest gratitude the many occasions on which you have heard our cry. We have been brought into deep distress and our heart has sunk within us, and then we have cried to you, and you have never refused to hear us. The prayers of our lusts you have rejected, but the prayers of our necessities you have granted. Not one good thing has failed of all that you have promised. You have given to us exceeding abundantly above what we have asked or even thought. For there was a day when our present condition would have been regarded as much too high for us ever to reach. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Our inmost heart is saying, Amen. Blessed be his name. If it were only for answered prayer or even for some unanswered prayers, we would continue to praise and bless you as long as we have any being. And now, Lord, listen to the voice of your children's cry. Wherever there is a sincere heart, seeking for greater holiness, answer that request. Or wherever there is a broken spirit, seeking for reconciliation with yourself, be pleased to answer it now. You know where there is prayer, though it be unuttered, and even the lips do not move. O oh, hear the publican who dares not lift his eye to heaven. Hear him while he cries, God be merciful to me, a sinner. Hear such as seem to themselves to be appointed to death. Let the sighing of the prisoner come before you. Oh, that you would grant peace and rest to every troubled spirit all over the world, who now desires to turn his face to the cross and to seek God in Christ Jesus. Lord, if there are any of your servants exercised about the cases of others, we would thank you for them. Raise up in the church many intercessors who shall plead for the prosperity of Zion, and give you no rest until you establish her and make her a joy in the land. Oh, there are some of us that have cried to you about our country. You know how in secret we groaned and sighed over evil times. 
and you have begun to hear us already, for which we desire to praise and bless your name. But we would not cease to pray for this land, that you would roll away from it all its sin, that you would deliver it from the curse of drunkenness, rescue it from infidelity, from popery, from ritualism, from rationalism and every form of evil, that this land might become a holy land. Lord, bring the multitudes of the working men to listen to the gospel. Break in, we pray, upon their stolid indifference. Give them a love of your house, a desire to hear your gospel. And then you will look upon the poor rich who so many of them know nothing about you and are worshiping their own wealth. The Lord grant that the many for whom there are no special gospel services but who are wrapped up in self-righteousness may be brought to hear the gospel of Jesus, that they also, as well as the poor, may be brought to Christ. Bless this land with more gospel light and with more gospel life and love. Hear us, O Lord. <laughs> 